Hello. In this session, after the introduction and importance of ethical hacking, in this session we're going to understand some of the essential terminologies of ethical hacking. And why it is important is because it is not only my course, you're going to refer different references, research papers, maybe books, maybe another video, maybe YouTube video. And you see those uh, facilitator also used uh, such kind of words or such kind of uh, definition which might you haven't heard about it. So in this session, we're gonna understand some of the basic or very essential terminologies of ethical hacking, not only ethical hacking, but any course, any cybersecurity, pen, te pen testing, testing, or a kind of thing. So we're gonna understand th those short ended definitions. So uh, I have listed down some of uh, eight interesting essential terminologies, not only eight, but I'm gonna have like many, uh, we're gonna see in the later sessions, uh, but uh, these are some of the eight uh, essential terminologies. The first one is hack value. You see, to understand hack value, let's uh, understand it. Uh, so, uh, give me a couple of seconds here. I'm gonna take a. <clears throat> yeah. So the thing is, we we want to understand uh, something called as something called as hack value. I'm so sorry if you do not understand here. Uh, my writing. <laughs> uh, so, what exactly is hack value here? It is something denoted as attractiveness. And uh, when I say attractiveness, how can you understand it? It's basically sorry for my uh, my spelling mistake. If it is there i'm very bad at it but no issue so let's understand suppose i have a attacker here this is an attacker so and uh, let's assume that uh, there are many targets available so this is uh, one target uh, this is another target uh, this is another target and let's say there is uh, one more target so these are uh, you know four target i'm available with so the, these are denoted as tr1 tr2 tr3 and tr4 you see that the question is now how this attacker gonna choose to which uh, he wants to attack i mean what is the part i mean what is the kind of thing he he, he gonna attack uh, among these four computer or four four targets he needs something valuable right something valuable from these four targets so that he can attack on so if this target one has something important as a credit card number he is interested your attacker is interested in it right in credit card number suppose this uh, tr2 has some confidential file with this credit uh, credit card number confidential uh, file and uh, plus it is also having the credit card information he is pretty much interested in it right in the same way tr3 has something like uh, open passwords not uh, encrypted uh, maybe he's having credit card information um, maybe he's having some confidential file uh, and so on and in the, in the same way tr4 has uh, you know some parameters which is uh, so called as information now your attacker is pretty much interested in this so called information the higher the information you are having information that is valuable right for the attacker so higher the higher the valuable information you are having your attacker is highly choose you okay he is attracted towards you he is interested he is he is having interested in your valuable inf information and this way attacker going to find you that tr4 is the best and suitable uh, person to attack here right and this attractiveness is known as hack value you cannot hack all these four computers i mean you can attack but uh, you know uh, attacker should narrow down your target narrow down the target so that he can he can choose the specific one and then later he can attack on so if you are having just the credit card number i mean he definitely going to interest uh, in it but uh, what if in the same domain there is a target to having confidential file and credit card number he is much interested towards it right so in the same way you know he will find he will find he will narrow down the targets and then later he can attack so this hack value is is something like a value uh, there is no equation for it it's not in mathematical term even but it is a value that denotes the attractiveness or interest or something that is worthy 
from the perspective of the attacker. It's a level of attraction uh, of the hacker. So this is the first term uh, that we understood. In the same way, let's understand uh, the another terminology and it is, uh, let's say, uh, we're going to take the vulnerability and after, after that, we're going to take the attack and all. So now here, the term is vulnerability. Uh, you see that we're going to understand uh, vulnerability in this manner. So uh, it, uh, in the recent time, I'm creating this video when I have a pandemic situation and the pandemic pandemic situation is uh, is with the help of uh, this disease. Uh, it's a it's a virus, right? Now understand the terminology vulnerability with the help of this COVID-19. You see this COVID-19 is let's say th this is a kind of attack, right? So suppose this is attack and what it attacks, it attacks on a weakened part. All right. So it, it, it will attack your weakened part of the body, uh, weakened part of the body and uh, and this is the problem you see this covid 19 uh, is is going to attack your weakened part of the body then therefore it can enter it can enter into your body okay it will enter into your body so here you see that this attack is virus this weakened part is basically known as vulnerability here in the terms of medical we can say that this weakened part is the vulnerability so if i have a complete body here this is the structure of the body and uh, this is the weakened part uh, to which uh, this covid 19 is is being infected right so this weakened part is known as a vulnerability so here in the terms of vulnerability uh, it is nothing but a weak weakness or or you can say more precisely it is a loophole in the system in the infrastructure in the network in the resources anywhere all right so if you are having a complete body if i find a loophole here then this virus can easily enter into the into this vulnerability now similarly we have you know from the perspective of computer science or uh, 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 cyber security what do you mean by it it is something like a, a kind of uh, uh, let's say an attack here uh, so let's say there is an attacker then this attacker the first intention of this attacker is to find the weakness so it is going to find the weakness in the system network infrastructure resources anywhere find the weakness and later later this weakness later this weakness leads to an exploit exploit means an entry point into this system so when this covid 19 find that there is a vulnerability and then later he gonna exploit to enter into this system this entrance is nothing but a kind of exploit so we we understand two terms here one is vulnerability and another one is exploit so in a very simple terminology uh, one more time if i explain to you this uh, vulnerability and the thing suppose there is an isolated system this is a complete isolated system so when i say isolated that means a system which is protected by firewall, IDS, IPS, so many other things. So just understand that it, it is protected uh, by some means. Uh, by some means, let's say there is firewall or antivirus maybe. So isolated, protected by firewall. So now if suppose there is an at attacker here, this is my attacker. Remember the uh, icon here that I had put it over here. This is an attacker and this is attacker is interested in this in this system. This is a system and he is interested because there is a high hack value and how he can you know how he can enter it that, because there is this is a complete isolated system. It's completely protected by fire. How he can. So this attacker as I told you the first first intention of this attacker is to find the weakness. So if there is a small slight weakness i mean small loophole he can find this attacker then this this loophole is going to be a vulnerability that uh, this attacker had find it out and 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 your attacker is now here inside the system all right so it is here it is now not inside but it's still in the system okay so he know this vulnerability now this attacker gonna enter into this vulnerability uh, by by means of something called as exploit so exploit is nothing but a kind of a malicious 
uh, you know entrance i mean a way or a breach I simply say a breach of security so a breach of security that uh, he had uh, done with the help of uh, finding this vulnerability so now he can enter into this uh, loophole and you know sit uh, sit inside the complete isolated system so now he is completely enter into this isolated system it means he hacked this isolated system and he is the owner right see so attack when i say hack it is nothing but an attacked it by this vulnerability and uh, exploits so these are the two terminologies vulnerability and exploit i hope you understand it the proper definitions and all you know you can find it from any, any book any course any youtube uh, channel or uh, you know any course you, you will get that so definition is not a part here so you see refer, refers to a weak point loophole or a code on any system in a network which can be helpful and utilized by the attacker to go through it uh, is an entry point for an attacker entry point is 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 this exploit it's a breach of security of a system through vulnerabilities it's an entry point again all right so when we understand the vulnerability and uh, uh, you know the exploit there is one more terms comes up so when i told you that uh, this this is an isolated system uh, i'm so sorry my circle is not that good but uh, let's say a small uh, and this is not okay so this is a circle and let's say this is again a system now you see that I already told you that uh, the attacker had find the vulnerability, exploit it, and now he is inside this system. So let's say your attacker is now inside. Your attacker is inside your system, right? So now you see that this system has, you know, it's not like completely empty. There is a C drive here. There is a D drive here and so many other drives. Uh, there might be uh, some confidential file and, and, and something like that, right? So many other, so many space of... Uh, data available so now uh, it's not like attacker gonna sit there for like eternity he he wants to do something right he 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 can perform several things here in the system so what what basically he can do an attacker generally do when he access the system he leave something called as a payload and it is very important so he will leave the payload so the next definition is payload so it refers to something called as a malicious code here uh, it's it is basically here when i say payload it is nothing but a, a malicious exploit code basically malicious code which he gonna leave inside the system okay so attacker cannot sit here because otherwise what will happen the system owner gonna come run the uh, ids ips firewall any protection system and you know he will remove you from the system okay he, he gonna fix it so he you need to be removed from there so you have a very minuscule time uh, to leave this payload inside the system once you leave this payload inside the system the payload work is to you know it could be anything so it could it could crash the complete drive uh, it, it will it may crash the complete operating system he can uh, maybe he will leave the key logger in the system c or somewhere he can take the your sam file like password file uh, he can take the sam file he can do anything he can he can open your camera uh, for like every time when you open your computer uh, open camera without without noticing of that led light uh, which tells you that the, the camera has been opened he can turn it off so you see the payload is a kind of malicious code by which he can do several things and some of them are i had listed down here so it is the work of payload that he can do anything so it is not only vulnerability exploit the attacker needs to leave this payload inside the system so that later he can you know do several things not only this one this is basically a kind of black attacker but if you are a a person who is working on a beneficiary time uh, sorry beneficiary a thing then uh, you need to do something else other than this crashing and key logging and getting the passwords you can uh, do something like fixing the system maybe if system c is is weakened then you can you can make it like very strong by hard coding it right so anything you can do with this help of payload but generally you know people do uh, malicious thing only with the help of this payload so these are the you know three things which are attached so uh, so if this is an attacker here uh, then attacker first thing is is it needs to find the vulnerability and uh, uh, after the vulnerability we have something called as exploit comes up 
uh, to breach that secure secure system once the exploit comes up sorry sorry about my arrows it's a payload here so it's a chain you see uh, sorry for the lengthy video but uh, this is the end i hope you understand it thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next session